back again with me, Anissa. So in this section, I would like to show you how to use uh, Aspen Hisis. Uh, in this case, I would like to create a model of a binary geothermal power plant. So this is the, the simplified schematic diagram of the binary geothermal power plant. So as you can see here, um, the uh, geothermal brine, which is still hot, uh, will be used to heat the uh, secondary loop, which is usually used a working fluid other than water. So in this case, I will use isopentane. So there will be two heat exchanger here. The first one is evaporator and the second one is preheater. And sometimes we will also use heat exchanger for the condenser part. In this uh, schematic, the heat from the geothermal brine will be extracted through the evaporator. So the geothermal will give it heat to the working fluid, in this case isopentane, and the isopentane will change phases from liquid phase to gas phase. And after that, the geothermal brine will be delivered to the second heat exchanger, which is the preheater. And in here, the uh, working fluid will be preheated before it is uh, being heated in the evaporator. So uh, after that, the uh, working fluid will have 100% vapor phase and it will be used to rotate the turbine here and extract it uh, energy. And after that, the working fluid will be cooled down because uh, the temperature after, after leaving the turbine is still quite high and we need um, a lower temperature in order to be able to extract heat from the geothermal brine. That's why we use condenser here. The condenser uh, will be connected into a cooling tower by using an air cooling system in this case. And this is the pH diagram of this system. So as you can see here, after leaving the condenser, um, there is a pump that will pumping the working fluid from condenser to the preheater so that it, the pressure of the working fluid will increase significantly from in, in this pH diagram, it can see from um, the third point to fourth point. Okay, now I'm going to start uh, doing the simulation in Aspen Hysis. So this is the interface of Aspen Hysis uh, in the first time you open it. And after that, just click File and create new case. Okay, and don't forget to add the component that you want to use in your system. In this case, I will use isopentan as the working fluid. After clicking on it and that, click enter. And other than that, I will use water as geothermal brine components. Then click. And after that, uh, close the windows. And after that, one thing that you have to set is the fluid package here. Click add and choose the SRK. If it shows a green color, then it has been chosen. So you can close the windows. And after that, enter simulation environment. Okay, so now here we are. We are ready to creating the schematic of the system. So we're going to start from this side, which means I will uh, put two heat exchangers. So this is the heat exchanger. I'll put heat exchanger here and here. Okay. And after that, adding I'm adding the material stream. So the first material stream that I will create is the geothermal um, stream. So this one is the geothermal inlet 
and this one is the geothermal uh, when it leaves the uh, evaporator and this one is the geothermal outlet okay and after that i'll create the um, stream for the working fluid so this one is the uh, inlet of the working fluid this is the uh, working fit after leaving the preheater and this is the working fit um, after getting heat by the evaporator and it's ready to be delivered to the turbine okay so first I'm going to change the stream names first would be geothermal in cool and this would be Geothermal, I'll just call it geothermal mid because it is in the middle of between two heat exchanger. It would be geothermal. I'm sorry. Thermal up. Okay. It would be isopentan in. So Penton mid and is so Penton out. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to uh, set up my heat exchanger. So if you double click on the heat exchanger, you will get this this window. Okay, so the, for the tube side, uh, we usually assign the fluid that has a possibility of scaling. So in this case, the geothermal, which uh, could bring silica on it, could, which could cause the scaling. So we will assign the geothermal in the tube side. Okay, so for this part, look at this. We sign the tube side. This one would be the inlet of the tube side would be the geothermal mid so choose the geothermal mid and the outlet would be geothermal out okay and this one is open in for this the shell side would be the isopentan in and this shell side outlet would be isopentan mid okay and this one double click on the uh, evaporator heat exchanger and for the tube side, uh, the geothermal is comes from the this stream and goes out to this stream.